Hey everybody, this is Bill Evans for FOH TV. We're here at the uh, Blue Water Resort and Casino in sprawling Parker, Arizona. Yeah, it's kind of a uh, an irony. If there's such a place as nowhere, we're smack dab in the middle of it. But uh, because this uh, venue tends to book a lot of sea uh, level and B level country acts, a lot of tribute bands, and it's not real rider heavy. Uh, FOH reviewers tend to use it a lot to review new gear. And so here we are out here today and we're going to be checking out the new Soundcraft VI6 uh, digital console. Uh, looks like the heavy lifting is done down at the stage, so I guess it's time to head down. So uh, we made it down to front of house. It's uh, early in the day yet. It's only maybe 11 o'clock. Uh, Soundtrack sometime off still. They tell me the board's already programmed and uh, well, we'll see how it goes, huh? We are, uh, because it's a new console, there are uh, actually two pieces of high-tech gear out. We're using a PM5D at uh, Monitor World um, in case, uh, you know, the worst happens and the VI6 goes down, we can mix from a side stage uh, on the, uh, the PM5D. Say hi, James. Hello, folks. How are you today? And if everything goes to hell, um, James will be the one mixing side stage on the PM5D. And how excited are you about that? I'm pretty excited about that, let me tell you. And it's actually an M7CL that we have side stage. Oh, an M7CL side stage. So one of the concerns in the shop was that the uh, screens wouldn't be readable out here in the sunlight. But... Uh, readable as anything else. Yeah, absolutely. We've got the, the contrast is cranked, but uh, and we are under a heck, but it's uh, hot and bright, and uh, you can read them as well as anything out there. Well, up an individual channel. You have your aux masters down here. If you're in aux mode, here's your aux masters. Here's your EQ master. Here's your dynamics master. If it's in gray, it means it's off. Simply turn it on. It lights up the gray. It's totally cool, but when okay. you look at it, and then here's the compressor in and out. And um, like a here's, here's the brick like wall limiting, right. and so here is an extra down. low cut and high cut. Right. Now there's so already the one in the EQ right. section, high so cut and low cut. Here's an extra one. What the fuck? I have no idea. Yeah, it's really um, and then you can That's flip it from gate to de A mechanically minded person. If you're, you know, obviously if you're using it on a channel, on a vocal, we don't need to gate so much. We can flip it over to de if you want. So everything starts here in this window. It's a Windows-based program. Starts in this window, and then it all feeds the whole the whole screen becomes that input. So it really does make it pretty simple. You know what's really weird is all the lights on this thing is LEDs, and when you look at them, they look like they're on. When you look at them through the video, they're all looking like a son of a bitch. Outside the console is not 100 degrees. It's actually not that bad. No, it's not. It's not going to get any hotter than it is right now. And heat was one of the things we were worried about, yes? Yes. It's room temperature. All right. And it's now about 107 or 108 degrees outside, and it's still, it's still cool. The analog Soundcraft Series 5M in Las Vegas is shutting down right now because it's too hot. <laughs> okay, um, let's start off by talking about the setup a little bit. Okay. Okay, um, uh, now you're not running the digital between the stage box and the console, right? No, we are not. Why not? Because we don't have two Soundcraft digital consoles, and um, we don't want to share the uh, head amps between two different name brand consoles because it's a disaster. So we've elected to treat it as an analog run and use the uh, hopper. With 56 channels, run back to the stage to the monitor console with a normal split screen. You have to buy, uh, in my opinion, you have to buy the consoles that are, you have to buy them in a pair. You have to buy two 5Ds, you have to buy two D5s, or you have to buy two 1Ds, you know, so you can have one at the front and one at the back doing its job. You have learning curve and operation. There was no learning curve. None really? At all. None at all. I came into your shop and there was a class going on with Tom, but I know you weren't in it because you were talking to me. Right. And I didn't have, I had no class. I spent five minutes in the manual, literally five minutes in the manual. Okay. 
any any problems. Okay. For me, because I'm dumb, it's confusing. If I'm looking on this channel and I turn up Ox 1, then I go over to this channel and I assume that this becomes Ox 1, but it's still Ox 3. Full disclosure, Larry is a Soundcraft dealer. Um, uh, I'm a dealer for Novason, I'm a dealer for uh, yeah, a lot of other things. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this comes down to uh, there's no way a company's going to send out a hundred thousand dollar console to somebody they don't already have a relationship with. So it's uh, just kind of the way things are done. True. I can't believe how easy that console is to work with. Do you think it's better sounding? It sounds like a real console. It doesn't have that digital sound. Yeah. Yeah. Is it, nice it, is that, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like a real console. It doesn't sound like a uh, it doesn't sound like a digital console. Is there anything that you found about it that you didn't like? The price. Too expensive? That's pretty damn expensive. What? You can cut and completely unplug this and it won't stop. Damn. Well, that's when I was in the shop and Tom was there. He said theoretically. Yeah, but so far, uh, his, the, you know, we did unplug it in the shop. Yeah. And keep on talking in the mobile for a half hour. Oh, we can look really? Yeah. We, we unplugged everything. It shut down. So. Small footprint. Small footprint. 32 assignable outputs to stereo auxiliaries, to uh, mono auxiliaries, to matrix, to group house, however you want it to go. Um, Less fun processing. Uh, Ring the bell, the bell. She's wearing a bird. Kind of looks that way. Al Qaeda's gotten the We are in trouble. She's in the sky, the bird is flying. Who will be the lover? Smoldering for Ben, fully paramedic to you on every input, every output. <laughs> What else we need to talk about? Boobies. We need to talk about boobies. 